how's it going everybody? Michael with 3D Print Everything here and I wanted to go over some <clears throat> profile changes that I made in order to get a really strong vase mode print. So if you want a tall, large, thin 3D print, literally one layer thick, and you want to be able to trust it to put a large plant in it and it to last, this will be the profile for you. So I want you to check this out first. I literally used two different brands of filament. They're both PETG. I made it in PETG because I know it's going to go outside. Um, I just pulled a file off of Thingiverse. This is like a pencil holder or something. I knew I wanted specifically a pot that uh, didn't reduce at the top. Um, because eventually the plant might outgrow this pot and I want to be able to pull it out so I didn't want to have it be its permanent um, sector there but I'm gonna go over the settings just real quick in case you want to make these changes yourself otherwise do expect the uh, profile to be uploaded in the comments so we printed this on a King Rune KP5L which is over there those two and um, I had some orange left and I wanted to use it up. I didn't have a whole lot, so I went ahead and printed that. I figured I would wind up uh, painting this, which it might look good. Well, I know it's going to look good painted, but I actually am digging the, the black and red too. But I know in gold or something else, this is really going to pop. I'm probably going to wind up painting it gold because I was just really impressed with how that looked on the other one. But anyways, we've changed to a .6 nozzle. Um, so the .6 nozzle, if you don't know, the thicker and taller, like the, the more you can extrude, the bigger the line, the stronger it's going to be. So we're going to extrude here at a .4 with a 1.2 line width. So we're literally going double the width of the nozzle um, to make a really thick line. Um, so, you know, that's that's part of the key here and in order to make sure that works good so we've gone down here and we did turn on uh, spiralized outer contour I also have arc welder turned on arc welder can be find can be found in marketplace um, we put a brim down at the bottom to make sure that it holds and we turn cooling off because it's PETG uh, retraction won't matter because with spiralized it won't I went ahead and I printed it slow because I wanted to make sure those layers really adhered um, now here was the key and I had to I had to double check this um, because on the first one I also did five layers on the base I wanted a really nice thick base to make sure it worked because I've done it a few times where it only had one or two layers but the first time I printed it I had about hundred and ten or fifteen percent infill and we can see it's working okay right here but right here it wasn't sticking so I knew that if I let it print like this that this would happen and it would potentially happen to the walls too um, and I didn't want that to happen. So we can see that though in, in the other side, so it was literally just one side, um, wasn't sticking as good. I went ahead and I upped the flow quite a bit more. So you really want a lot of flow so that it's pushing that filament out and making sure that it touches the walls. And PETG can be successfully printed around 220. I've even seen it down at 215. Um, when you're pushing this much out, and you know when I'm looking at my extruder up there that large gear is just just a spinning um, so we I've turned that up to 245 and I could potentially even go higher but 245 seemed to be a good speed um, at the print speed that I was printing at. I slowed it down to 10 percent of this which would I guess been five millimeters a second to change the filament out so I did a hot swap in the middle of it printing and what was it I could see at this layer the black so right here was actually the, the the moment that I pulled the filament out and then put it back in and a little bit of extra came out so I'll clean that up but this first layer up to about right here was actually boiling and I could see that the filament boiled a little bit I don't know if the camera yeah you're not gonna be able to tell I can see it just a smidgen but um, otherwise, once it, once it sped back up, it really liked the speed. But I'm really digging this uh, this pattern. You know, this was an inch initially meant to be a pencil cup, so we're talking it being. Oh, I don't have uniform scaling on. It being much smaller than this, but I scaled it up to print it. You know, just about max size in the KP5L. And um, I mean, when I look at this. I am just kind of like, I mean, this thing would fit way over my head, 
it is quite big compared I mean look at it just sit on my laptop like this comes off of a kp5l like that's a big print <laughs> I mean so it's it's pretty cool seeing what the max size of a printer will do um, we're actually doing our newest speaker design on this one right here which this printer is slightly taller I believe than the KP5L. The KP5L is like 340 and this one's like 350 and this print is like 345 uh, millimeters in height so we're having the same smart do it. Also this print is actually going to weigh about 12 pounds um, and putting 12 pounds on this bed is no good but this thing weighs only like half a pound um so but i mean look at look at how i'm handling it it's not coming apart this is what you want out of a really nice pot i i think i'm really really happy with this i think this with some dirt in it um should be able to stand up to the heat just fine and if i'm worried about drainage um i'll poke some holes in the bottom of it i uh i think that's probably what i'll wind up doing is just drilling out um either the center or maybe like i'll probably do four small holes around it or medium sized holes um, just so that it has some drainage um, <clears throat> most of the time prints will leak but I think with this on spiral vase mode and a really nice you know thick layer I mean look at that you can see that it's it's as thick as the whites of my nails um, you know literally almost looks like a weld a weld line that's really neat um, I think what that is what I'm seeing here on the top so this this little like why it looks like a weld line is it moving up so that is the Z slowly ticking up and I think that's what I'm seeing there but anyways uh, videos gone on long enough uh, check the description for the for the file like share subscribe all that cool stuff let me know what you think of uh, and if you didn't notice that other one was a different pot um, I didn't make that clear when I went over there but that was a different shaped pot and uh, that pot printed for a client but it kind of reduced at the top but yeah let me know what you think of this um, what you post any uh, you know photos if you get any can you post photos in the comments maybe not but feel free to share your experience with this if uh, you know I am I'm just really happy with this I've, I've printed a lot of things base mode and they haven't been coming out that good but that came out great um, so I'm, I'm real pleased but uh, yeah check that out let me know what you think comment like subscribe all the good stuff have a good day guys